Right, welcome to the video. This is a comparison test, really, for the X types of XPS foam that are available to UK buyers. Um, these are going to be the most popular ones, I, I would imagine. Um, XPS is expanded polystyrene. And this is what's used by a lot of modellers for um, building materials such as foam bricks and construction, um, building up layers on a, a terrain board and then scraping it to make roads and stuff. It's more commonly used in the building trade for insulation in walls and caravans, etc. It um, comes in all different types, but these are the best variations to use for our hobby for terrain making. So I've got three different types here. Uh, the standard blue stuff that you've seen me using in a couple of my other videos and this purple stuff which is actually under floor insulation for heating and um, supposed to be pink it came purple and then the black stuff now interestingly the black stuff is a replacement for the blue foam from the blue foam company uh, they have stated i believe uh, if i'm wrong i apologize but they've stated i believe that there is no difference in the blue and black foam now, whether they mean commercially, as in the thermal dynamics of it, whether how much it prevents heat loss or or not, I don't know. Um, I think there's a bit of a difference between the two for the hobby. So we're going to do a couple of tests. Um, we're going to do the tin foil roll test. We're going to cut some bits up and use the rocks in a box method. Um, we're going to do the drawing bricks and cutting with a knife and then it, 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 you know going over with a pencil to see how that works just to see if there are indeed any differences between the three you can probably already tell there are some differences um, the blue and the black look fairly similar but i think the black is a little bit coarser so i think if you were going to grade it on a sandpaper scale you're probably looking at I don't know, 40 grit, 60 grit, and a 120, because the pink is ridiculously smooth. The cell structures, they're a lot tighter packed, the air bubbles in this. And you can just tell by looking at the skin of them, realistically. You can see all the holes in this one pick up the light more than this one. Um, whether that's the colour on the camera, I don't know. Um, but you can definitely feel the difference. You can definitely see it on the side there as well. These two have gone through the proxon already. I'm doing these tests on the same thickness and the same diameter. So it's one, it's 100 mil by 100 mil by 10 mil thick, just to get it standard. So there's no cheating. I'm going to be cutting blocks from 40 mil by 10, uh, 40 mil by um, 100 mil later. Um, but you'll see that I'll probably repeat a lot of this in that bit as well. So, right, let's start with the tin foil bore method. Right, bear with me one second. I have to find my tin foil bore. Right, I found my tin foil bore. I'm, I'm probably also going to try and squish some rocks into it as well, see if that works. Um, so, right, let's do the purple first. So, your basic ball of tin foil, nice and squished down. And I'm going to basically hold it and roll it all over the surface. See what detail we get. Let's do half the block, shall we? There we go. There you can see that picks up some fantastic detail on that. The flat bits are just where I haven't gone over, but you can see the difference between the two sides. Not gone over and gone over. It's really nice. Really, oh, there you go. Fantastic detail on that. So the pink picks out quite nicely. It's quite firm. We will do a tear test in a minute as well with some, um, some rocks, I think. So that's the pink. Let's do the good old blue. I can I'm, I know how this is going to turn out because I do it all the time. Same pressure is being applied. I hope. Right. Look at that. Yeah. 
fancy and that picks up a nice lot of detail as well. Very nice. Let me have a look at the two together. Okay, not much. I think the blue's picked up deeper because of the closed, yeah, the deeper recesses on the blue. I think it's because of the larger air bubbles involved in this one. Again, I could be wrong, but that's my impression of it. But this is definitely shallower detail, deeper detail. Let's try the black. There we go. Both shiny sides, so let's go with this one. I'm not sure how well this is going to pick up. Definitely sounds rougher than the other two. You can hear that squeaking, it's my chair. I need to oil it, sorry guys. Alright, there we go. So definitely picked up detail as well. Look compared to the blue, this is supposed to be the direct replacement. I think the blue is better. It's doing the same job, definitely. It will definitely do the same job. I think. Nice bit of detail there. You can see the shadows, etc. You can definitely still see them in the black, but I think the blue is better. I think the blue is better than the pink as well, which is a shame. Because the pink's really nice. But I think if I was a bit harder, I think it would be different. Let me do a tear test with a rock. Right, bear with me one second. I'll be back in a sec. Right, as you can see, I've got three other bits here. I've got a pointy bit of foil I use for some in-depth detailing and into corners. And two rocks. Let's do a tear test. Now, what I mean by tear test is how far you can push into the material before the surface tension gives way and it rips. So, start again. Let's do the purple again. So, it's quite hard. Not bad. It only tore down the bottom there, so... Do another one. So you got the whole imprint of the rock and no just tearing just in the corner there. Let's try a flat piece, this bit here. Here we go. Okay, that's a nice imprint. No tearing on that. It's really firm though. I found struggle pushing that in. So let's just do the foil. There we go, multiple applications will get a tear, but I don't think that's too much of an issue. Let's see if we can do that again. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. There we go. Ah, okay, so it tears, but you have to use a lot of force with this one. Um, so I think you can get away with rolling a foil ball or, or stone or something around with it. So you're pushing with your fingers on the corner there. Get a good push, but hey, I'm not that strong. <laughs> so the pink's quite nice. Let's do the blue. Right, let's do the edge first, as we did before. Oh yeah, a straight tear, isn't it? Uh, Yeah, the flatter, it seems to be fine. That was a lot easier to go in on that one, though. Um, let's do the flat one again. Here. Just there, just that flat bit, yeah. Oh, yeah, that went straight in. You can hear it tear as well. Straight in as opposed to the... As opposed to the pink. I'm trying to use the same amount of force, but, I mean, obviously, it's easier to go in on the blue than it is the uh, pink, so it's obviously going to be less force for the blue so try to squeeze a finger squeeze oh yeah that was way easier to squeeze right. and it tears with the fingers as well so the purple is definitely a smaller cell so um smaller air bubbles in this which makes it closer and denser as opposed to the, there are bigger air bubbles in this one which makes it well effectively lighter um okay let's try the foil on the blue Wait, 
I don't know if you can hear that, but it mashes down quite nicely. I think it's got less tear on it. You can go further in. Definitely less tear on this than I think purple. I'm not sure. What are you going to think? The deeper point goes straight in, so it's going to be tear. It's going to tear a lot more. However. Yeah, you can still see the tears there, there, and um, just in there as well. The pink one's more pronounced on the tears, I think. All right, let's try the black. So we'll try the point first. Oh, God, yeah. No problem with that. Um, okay, so I think this has a higher, uh, a larger bubble than the blue as well to be honest with you just push the corners out yeah it seems to be exciting. still a tiny tear in there though you can see that there let's try the flat again there. oh cry crikey yeah that went straight down again didn't tear so much as flat in this one though you can see that there Quite a nice impression. Do the fingerprint finger test. Oh, that was the easiest of a lot. Definitely. Yeah. And let's do the tin foil test again on this one. Let's have a look. Oh, even with a light push, it's going straight in. Nice detail. Definitely tears a lot. Look at that. So we'll definitely tear. Right, so. The tear test for me, I still think on the tear test and the detail test, these bits, I think I prefer the blue. However, the pink definitely gets a pass as well because you can be a bit rougher with it because it's closer sold. Um, not a fan of the black. And unfortunately, I think the black is going to be the one that's replacing the blue in the future because they've changed the formula. Um, the cell structure on the black seems to be way larger than the blue and well the way larger than the pink and definitely larger than the blue again um yeah it's supposed to be exactly the same again i think the manufacturers probably mean the thermal dynamics of it you know the for the construction saying it will let it won't let em, enough uh, heat out etc so i mean look at the thickness and the squeeze there this is very thin i don't know that's medium and that is hardly a squeeze at all so there's definitely bigger air bubbles in this one, medium, so small, medium, and sorry, small air bubbles, medium air bubbles, large air bubbles in this one. Um, well, large is relative to be fair. So let's get some fresh pieces and let's do the pen and blade test, bear with me. Right, let's do the um, pen and blade test. I'm gonna do a pencil. I will use the same as before, so two fresh pieces, uh, 10 by 10 by 10. So I'm just going to score a line down the middle very lightly. And follow that up with a pencil. That makes a very nice, very pronounced line in that. And that wasn't difficult at all. Let's do a few more, see if we can do some brick patterns. Don't judge me, brick workers. Let's turn this aside. I'd only do a few because you guys are going to get bored otherwise. And let's see how this works. I always go both ways on these so you get the same indent either side. It is denting either side, which is not, not good. So, a nice brick pattern on that. Now, you can do the foam foil wall technique afterwards. Um, but if you do it afterwards, I would definitely go through the grout lines again with your pencil. 
because the bricks will merge into the ground lines, which wouldn't be good. So let's try and do this again. not the texture isn't as deep as I'd like on these bricks but I mean it could be a new build <laughs> new build castle um so it's quite nice the pink foam is it's nice it's obviously it's foam it's lightweight of course but it's definitely less of a no and you see the black and the blue are definitely lighter than the pink I have to get a piece and weigh it um it won't be for this video though because it's dark outside and I'm not going back to the workshop um but yeah, let's try that on the blue. So again, take the blue, do a very, very light score in the middle. Let's do exactly what we did before. Go for the line. There we go. Pretty much exactly the same as the pink, if I'm honest. Let's do two more lines and some brickwork. stick to exactly the same amount of bricks so it's a fair test but it's never going to be a full fair test is it i'm not in a laboratory and i'm no expert so straight down here Hard to see the lines in the blue foam. That was easier to put through there as well. So there's much I think, feels deeper on the blue. Let's do some tin more tin foil. Yeah, there you go. Because we can get deeper on the blue with the pencil and the knife, the lines pretty much stay. We just have a quick score again. Yeah, that's the detail I like. And it works at a, a push. You could go back over the pink again with your ball if you wanted to. I definitely prefer the black for that, and um, the blue for that. <clears throat> right, let's try the black. Gently with the knife. And pencil again. Okay. Again, that was incredibly easy, as you would expect. It's a standing knife going through foam, but a bit easier than it was on the pink. Right, Here we go. Sorry, this guys, this is just a bit boring and tedious for you, but it's a fair test to see which one you're going to prefer. Or, well, you might prefer a different one to me, but this is just my opinion. There we go. See, this is roughly the same as the blue, if I'm honest on that. That's the tinfoil ball. Squishes the detail down a lot more on this one. You can't really see the lines between these two bricks here. Let's see if we can go through that again. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, wasn't it? <clears throat> so 
right there it is has the same kind of detailing as the blue but it is one distinct disadvantage with the black and the pencil method is you uh, you can see where the cut lines are but when you do the tinfoil ball you can't see where your pencil lines are because you cannot see the lead or the graphite color on the black like you can on the blue and the purple so on the wall and the other tests I've done what do I think is my favourite? Um, it's all going to depend on application if I'm honest um, I think I would say for brickwork myself um, I would go with the blue if that's not available I would go with the black but I'd have to be more careful with it because it's it's less dense it's squishier um, for detail work, definitely the pink. Um, you can be harder on it. It uh, holds a more defined shape, I think, because of the cell structure. Um, and it's more readily available than either of the other two. I got the blue one from eBay via the blue foam um, website. I think they were selling it on eBay. This was about four years ago. So I've had the stash in my shed for a while. The black phone was sent to me by one of the followers I, I also follow him on instagram i shall tag him below in the comments um ian vale um at ian vale i think 81 i can't remember sorry bud but i will tag you in the bottom and the pink was bought from the underfloor heating um warehouse again i'll link the description in below I hasten to add, I am paid by nobody for these videos. These are just independent reviews off my own back. Um, so I will do a cutting video next on the Proxon and we'll make some tiny little bricks and we'll do the rocks in a box method. Um, I shall see you in a bit. Thanks guys. All right guys, this is the test for cutting the three different types of foam. As you can see, I've got the black, the purple, the pink, and the blue here. Um, once again, I'll reiterate the manufacturers of the the people that supply the black stuff instead of the blue stuff now state that it is exactly the same. Now, I can't see the blue very well um, in the light, but the black I can. And I I think the black is coarser, in my opinion. Um, the, the pink is as soft as anything. It really, really is smooth. The blue is coarse, but this is definitely coarser. So on a sandpaper scale, <laughs> um, that's probably 40, 60, 120, in my opinion. Um, but we'll see how they cut and then we'll do the rocks in a box method for all three to see how they uh, shape up so let's turn this on uh, just so you know I'm doing this on number three on the Proxon in case anybody's interested and I'm going to make 20 by 10 millimeter bricks of each shape I'll put my gas mask on gas mask huh. right let's do the pink first Really smooth cutting on that. There's no drag at all. That could be the cell structure in the foam. It's very, very closed. It's not open. It's not as open as the black and the, uh, the blue. Right. Let's try the blue. You can hear the difference. I'm not sure if you can hear the difference, but you can hear. Listen. I'm not sure if my microphone will pick that up, but it's definitely a like a grating sound or a popping sound on the blue as opposed to the pink. Let's try the black. Oh, it's the same, same popping sound, but it's a little bit more high pitched. There we go, right. I'll keep those bits for later. I'll cut these into one by one squares. Well, two, two by one. I'll cut them all together to save time. And then we'll do the rocks in a box method and we'll separate them all out and see how that looks. Because we're going to get different textures, I think. So we'll see. One second, move that across. I know this isn't the perfect way of cutting rocks, guys. I don't have another straight edge and I can't be asked to move this, so work for me so far. Well, 
we should get four cuts out of this. Three cuts, four sets of bricks. Don't worry, I will re I will use these for a project and I will show you all. So let's get set up for the rocks in a box. Right, here we go. I've got all the bricks ready for the rocks in a box method. And uh, unless you, if you're wondering, yes, I do need to tidy the shed. Or workshop, as I like to call it. The wife still calls it the shed. So we'll put these 12 rocks in here. And if you've seen my other video, you'll know that these are just ordinary garden rocks out of my garden, funnily enough. Um, all right, where's the lid? Bear with me, guys. It's right in front of me, what an idiot. Put this on here. And to time this, I'm going to give them all 20 seconds. So there is going to be some noise, guys, so apologies for that, but bear with me. This has got to be a test, doesn't it? So go. the other two and then I'm going to take them inside and we'll do the comparison but I will just show you what these ones look like for now. Oh my dust here. They're nice rounded smooth edges. I picked up some some detail from the rocks but we'll see how it goes. Right, I'll do the rest of these. Uh, I'll take it indoors and I will do the comparison in there. Um, rest assured I am doing 20 seconds for each one. I'm not being paid by anybody to do this it's just an opinion. Um, my opinion of what the current foam is available in the UK at the moment. There may be different foams uh, in the across the world. Uh, Europe, for instance, and they've got Styrodur, which is awesome stuff apparently. And America have got the really pink foam, so I'm not sure what um, what that is. But I'd like to get a sample if someone can help me out. Um, but yeah, I'll take you indoors and we'll have a look in a minute. Cheers. All right, guys, so we're back inside after doing the rocks in a box method for each one of these. Uh, 20 seconds for each one. Um, let's do it in reverse order this time. Let's have a look at the black foam first. So, a couple of the blocks here. As you can see, they've all got rounded edges still. They picked up some of the indentations. I think they've taken more of a battering than the other two, if I'm honest. Um, it seems to work pretty fine. It still feels really, I mean, it doesn't matter really hard doing that, but it does feel a lot coarser, this material, than the other one. Um, so that's the black one. The blue ones is expected, to be honest with you. I use this quite a lot. I've used it all the time. Um, rounded edges, as usual. Picks up a lot of the indentations from the rocks. Now, usually I would shake it a, lot, a little bit longer. Um, for the blue, but I just wanted to do a uh, base standard for all of the blocks. And the purple one. Now this, again, um, I think this has picked up less of a rounding than most of the others because I think it's a smaller cell structure, so it's a little bit firmer. But I think I quite like it. What do you think? I think it's quite nice. Right. So that's them. At some point I will build something with these, I'm not going to waste them. Um, but now, I'll bring you back in a sec. Right, so you've seen all the uh, all the things I've done with the, the foam. Um, I think it's pretty much everything you'd need to do with a beginner's build. You wouldn't need to be any more elaborate than this, I don't think. Um, yeah, um, the blue is the standard foam. I was very happy with that. That's what I'm building everything out of at the moment anyway. That's what I've seen most people build out of. The black, I'm not a fan. Um, if I need to use it at a push or it's the only one I can get a hold of, I'll use it. But yeah, I'm definitely not a fan of that one. Um, it doesn't, it's squishy, it's really squishy. Um, yeah, it's going to take, uh, it's very light passes at the, the foil ball, which is, which is good. Um, don't get me wrong, but yeah, I'm not a fan of the black. I just think it's lower quality than the blue or the purple. Um, 
Now the purple is originally billed as pink foam uh, on the, the place I bought it. Um, but I mean, the colour's neither here nor there. Um, for the pink foam, it's purple, pink, mauve, whatever colour you want. It's a lot, lot denser. Um, it takes really nice detail, but I think you're going to have to be a lot harder with it, perhaps two passes with the foil ball or, or a rock or something like that. Or I'd be interested to test it with a roller. Um, I don't have any green soft world rollers because, hey, I make resin bases. <laughs> um, but but yeah, I think I would really like to, to see some processes uh, or build a, a building with the pink stuff. I think that might be next on the cards for me after the uh, windmill. Cutting the blocks. The cutting the blocks was fairly simple. Obviously, we've got, we've got a prox on. The the pink stuff cuts like a dream. You can't hear it hissing at all. You can hear the blue hissing a little bit when you cut it. Um, the black has a big hiss to it. Um, and then the rocks in the box. The pink doesn't pick up the detail as much as um, the black and the blue. Um, but I, again, I think you could probably do it with some larger rocks in the box and the pink would be better. Um, so yeah, there's my review. Um, avoid the black if you can, unless you've already got some, then try and use it up and be, and be careful with it. I will try and build something with the black I've got. Uh, I'm not going to dismiss it completely out of hand. I will try and build something with it. Um, my blue, um, that I've got is my go-to, but I'm running a pretty low on stock at the moment. So I'm going to see if I can get hold of some after the pandemic, see what's going on. And the purple is probably going to be my go-to stuff from now on. Um, it's the underfloor heating people, they sell it in massive sheets and you can select the thickness from like 10 up to like 50 mil. It does come in huge sheets, they're four foot by two foot, um, uh, but the postage is fantastic. They obviously charge you for postage, um, but from the sheet I got, I could make 24 um, one foot by one foot by 10 mil thick sheets because I bought the 30 mil one. So, I mean, that's phenomenal for the price you're paying other, other suppliers for, for cutting it for you. You might as well get a large sheet and cut it yourself. Um, get an old bread knife, just give it a sharp and then keep that in the uh, tools that you use with your phone. All right, guys. Um, well, that's it. Um, we'll see what we can get built with this in the next couple of days. Um, as usual, give us a like if you can. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to. I don't mind. Um, I just hope it's informative for you. Let me know what you think. And... Uh, yeah, thanks very much. See you soon.